on this episode. I visit the casino, charge my phone, I'm reading books and some Starbucks. And yeah, some beautiful landscape. So landscapes and an epic picture fell on my floor. And end with this beautiful, delicious potato. Let's get started. right across the border of Texas or whatever at the Windsor I keep saying Windsor that is a clothing store Windstar Casino um, and the reason why we stopped here is because we're just going to um, I want to freshen up and kind of rest until I got really on the road um, and this is a good rest stop because casinos you can kind of just like chill at least that's what I've read and researched Six hours later. So crazy. So crazy. Oh, guys, I'm coming. Ew. Ew. We are going to go if we can. Going in the Venetian air trees. That means it's not Venetian. Okay, so I put my jacket on. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Come on now, cut it out. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go inside and, uh, like I said, we got a little bit of funny. We play that little bit of money and come up, we come up, and if we don't, we leave it. <laughs> and if we come up and we come up good, we leave it. Like, ain't no plan that to see about no double down, none, none of that. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? I don't even know if that's the word for it, but I'm not doing that because, um, Every time I do that, I lose. Every time I do that, I lose all, all the money, all the money that I want. I always lose. It's sad. Oh, it's sad. It's sad. I just think about all the money that I want. Oh, oh. Carson, are you okay? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Yes, I really don't remember how to do this. I don't remember if I'm supposed to do cash on it. Thank you. 
people say that she says to uh, go to certain machines. I don't even know what machine to go to. I don't do this one. That's just my not here. That's it. Alright. Uh, which one do we choose? Oh, we're gonna go. Let's go with this one. Okay. That one wasn't working right, so we can go somewhere else. A few moments later. This is the look of the sheet. But I'm not cheap. But anyways, yeah, I lost all that money. <laughs> well, I lost all but 35 cents and I donated that to the Heart Association, which is just good, I guess. Made a donation. I don't know what 35 cents will do, but yeah, so the first game I was kind of up. I think like the second time or third time <clears throat> that I did it. So I was, I went up, I put in three dollars, and I went up to ten. So I gained seven dollars. I was like, do I take the money and run, or do I keep it? I mean, or keep going. And I kept going, and then I lost it. And then I gained some back, and then I lost it again. And then I couldn't get it back. And yeah, that's why I don't do casinos. Okay. Hola. Okay, so um, my phone has not been charged. I've been on the road for probably about an hour and a half, almost two hours. And I come to find out my phone was not charging draining my battery and like now it's been flipping between um 11 to 12 percent and so clearly it's not charging um the charger works unless i broke it <sighs> i hate to invest in another charger but if i have to then i will but i'm at I found a target so what I'm gonna try and, and see is if they have the little charging station so if you're familiar with target back in the electronic section some of them have like a charging station where you can plug in your phone and leave it there and let it charge so if they have it I'm gonna leave my phone there I'm gonna let it charge for probably a good hour I hate that because it loses time but I need my phone for um, GPS purposes and it's clearly not charging so we're gonna have to do what we gotta do all right oh by the way I didn't mention but I'm in Wichita Falls so closer to out of Texas well Tarjay Tarjay you know it's uh, change of plans so they didn't have the charging station I don't know if this car is turning or not I don't know what she's doing okay they didn't have the charging station so what I'm gonna do is grab my um what you call it lock and my charger piece of shit and uh, charge it inside of Target at the Starbucks. And I'm gonna get me a Starbucks. <laughs> so, we are at 5% uh, charge, but I got it hooked up to the charger. And we are going to read some books. Okay. What's this one? Um, happiness is a choice you make. Lessons from a year 
Simone the oldest. Uh, this good. Oh, I didn't start this book, but you can see my little bookmark right here. And it's pretty good. It's about life lessons from older people, older generation. And then this one, I started it. Okay, yeah. I started the introduction. I ain't even got to the chapter, but this is Holier Than Thou by Jackie Hill Perry. So I'm going to read um, both of these books while this phone charges. I'm at least get it to 50%. Alright, bye. <laughs> so, I got me a drink. It's just a, a vanilla cream latte, I think. Um, and we're already at 11% from 5%, so. Probably won't take too long to get to 50%. We'll see. Okay, so I just want to share with you a part of this book. <laughs> so basically, in the first like 14 pages of the book, this, he's talking about his experiences that he spent with um, some older people that he chose to interview for, for this book. And um, he just gives a synopsis of kind of some of the things that they talked about, uh, conversations, and uh, conversations, and the uh, then he kind of goes into talking about how the statistics of, of old people, older people in, in that generation and how they communicate with people in the younger generation and that the numbers are dwindling down. We don't really reach out to the older people, older generation to learn wisdom and things like that um, as it was in the past. So basically, um, basically, one of the things that he talks about is when you get older in life, you things start to slow down, and you either start to lose your memory. All types of things happen, and basically, as you get older, you have to choose happiness because there are so many things um, that are happening to you that may call to you to be happy, like disabilities and things like that. And so one of the last lines on page, uh, this last, this top paragraph, page 14 is, excuse me, it says, if you want to be happy, learn to think like an old person. It makes me think, like, to think like uh, old, like, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to gather my thoughts. So, if you want to be happy, learn to think like an old person. So, learn to enjoy all the things of life. Learn to understand that death is around the corner. Death is inevitable. We're all going to face it. But just knowing that you're living every day like it's your last. On a you know I don't know the word I'm trying to think of but you're not you're not focused on the on the, the future or the past or any of that stuff. Like you have memories and stuff but you're thinking about the present, enjoying the now. Because tomorrow's not promised. Which is reality for all of us, but I guess when you're older we think about it more. back in this thing so uh let's get it all right oh, here's gonna get get it to go though let's see Okay, so I'm 
at a truck stop or gas station charging my phone because it is not charging in the car. It just keeps losing and it, losing power. And um, my, for some reason, my power pack is not charging. It'll charge it for a second and it stops. So I don't know if it's because the cord is long and it's kind of, con, you know, constricted in the car. I don't know, but it charges faster when it's on the wall, so we're just gonna let it charge for, I guess we wasting time, be here another hour um, until we can get more charge, because I think I have like a hundred and something miles to my next stop. So, right now, we gonna eat some peanuts. And I forgot my books, so I have to go back and get those. Okay, so I solved the problem. My charger has a short in it, so that means that I couldn't, um, it just kept shorting out, so that's why I wasn't charging. So I figured out a way to charge it, I just can't really film while I'm in the car wash charging, but we had 60% good, we didn't have to stay at that, um, truck stop or rest stop or gas station for too long. So anyways, we're on the road to the next destination. I've never really traveled the state of Texas, like, I've been to Austin, Houston, San Antonio, El Paso just passing through to get to Mexico. Um, I've never been to West Texas, like, <laughs> ever in my life. And there's other places in Texas I've never really explored either. So, anyways, I want you to show where my view. You can't really see it, though, and I can't zoom in because I'm on snap. Anyways, I'm at a rest stop or whatever. But look at the canyons. Like... Look at over there. So beautiful. Uh, it's just so beautiful. I had to stop and take it in. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Technically, like, I probably shouldn't have had that coffee earlier, but that's a little cheap. But, um, I'm on a fast, so I can't, I'm not eating fast food. Um, and I'm not eating meat, which is okay, it's fine. Um, so that just means that this trip is kind of hard because I can't just like stop anywhere and get anything to eat because I'm really just eating vegetables. Um, of course there are places you can eat vegetables, but I'm like, who want to pay an arm and a leg for a salad or some vegetables when I can just get it out of Walmart and heat it up in the container, like, just like if I was at work. Drake! <laughs> Drake! I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I'm about to do. 
So I'm in my car because it's cold outside or chilly. Um, but I'm at a store with a microwave because we need a microwave in order to make this dish. So these are vegetables that I've already I actually cooked yesterday. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I just have a little bit of salt and pepper and a garlic, a salt-free seasoning, like like garlic powder, onion powder, all that on there. Well, I'm just gonna, you know, puncture the potato, stabbing it, killing it. Here's Johnny. Not, I don't want to stab it too much and then like hurt myself in the process. So she's not the cutest. She got a lot of spots on her. So anyways, I like to cut a couple of times really deep so that when I put it in the uh, microwave, it's not, it cooks quicker. I'm putting water into the bowl that I have my potato in. Um, it's probably not even a fourth a cup of water. It's not much water at all. But it's a good amount of water to boil. That'll boil the potato. That'll help to, I don't know. I did it yesterday and it worked. So I believe something, this is a big ass potato. It might not. Okay. So it's going to pop off anyway when I, uh, and clean my knife off in a second. Uh, I'll do that when I get back. But um, I'm about to go in here, warm this up. The potato will probably take about eight minutes to cook this way. And then my vegetables probably like two minutes. So I'll be back in about. And the So baked potato is done. It is cooked all the way. It ain't hard, nothing see that. Alright, so I'm going to use this no salt seasoning and put it on top. It ain't salt, so I can use as much as I want. It's uh, basically just dehydr dehydrated vegetables, your onion, garlic, parsley. Oh, it does have some sugar in there. How much sugar is in there? I guess a little bit. Herbs, spices, canola oil, citric acid, and of course, cornmeal. Mm, tastes like me. And then I got my my salt and pepper. I ain't gonna use a ton of that, but Maybe I lie a little bit. And then the vegetables, and I just chunk it on top of everything else. This is one bag of like um, some steamable Asian melody vegetables that I got from Aldi for like a dollar. I'm gonna clean these out later. Um, but yeah, so. Just the vegetables and your potato. That's all you got. Bon appetit. Hey, so good evening. Um, we are parked for the night. It's like 7.30, which is actually still kind of early, but there's nothing to do. There's no jobs to get or anything. It's a really slow town. So I've been to Walmart. I'm going to take off my nail polish on my toes. Um... That's pretty much it. I'm going to take some melatonin. I'm going to go to sleep because we're going to get up early in the morning and take off. Um, we not dressing cute <laughs> like this tomorrow. <laughs> I've been watching videos and doing this for a while. But I usually stay near my hometown. So it's easier because I know the area and stuff. This area I don't know. So I don't know where to stay. I don't know where to go. So um, right now we're parked on the side slash back of a Walmart and the reason why I parked here was because I saw a lot of trucks and so usually if there's trucks that means that they're able to sleep there so I'm gonna get my stuff out the back um my windows are already done um if you can see it it's like black 
supposed to be blackout curtains that I cut to fit in whatever. You can see that one. I don't have anything for my back because I keep forgetting to buy something. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stuff some clothes up there because the window space is not that, you know, it's not a lot. So um, I'll just stuff something back there so you can't really see inside. Um, and then I have a covering for this window that I put on. Because I get in and out of this door, um, I don't like to use a magnet thing because it would be pissing me off. <laughs> yep, I say pissing me, pissing me off. That thing don't be wanting to go on. I be trying to be y'all stealth. I can't be stealth when you keep coming on and off. Like, okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my nails or my toenails. Take this polish off. I may not put polish on tonight because I really don't want to sleep with those fumes. And the wind is so high right now. I don't even want to let down a window because um, it's cold. So I'll probably do my nails sometime tomorrow during a rest stop or something. But anyways, I want to get on these pants. Like my shout out to my sister for my beautiful outfit like i love it it's gorgeous but not not to you but to the company y'all gotta do something about this uh the elastic band inside of the pants like literally i put it on one time it's already like twisted and i get it big girl big stomach whatever big legs no we gotta do better with you know you Okay, you know you selling the big girls. Who? Uh, what brand is this? So I was looking for the brand label, and it's Wild Fable. She got it from Target, and it's so comfy though. Like if it, it feels so good, and I love the jacket with the little faux fur or whatever. Um, but yeah, this this is my first time wearing it, and this band. Like I get, like when I put it was putting it on, it started twisting. Like I, I don't know how you sew it into place. Something I don't know. But anyways, shout out to my sister for the beautiful outfit. Um, let's get to take it. Oh, I take that toenail polish off. It's gonna be fumes too. I just thought about that. So I'm probably not gonna do that. Because I don't want to smell that tonight. I just want to go sleep. On the next episode, Avoiding the Snowstorm Gone Wrong. A drive through Hondo Valley. Tune in to find out why my eyes were so red.